All right, so the last thing I wanna show you in this tutorial is how to use the automations, which we see on the top here. The difference between broadcast and automation is just that a broadcast is a simple one-time email that you can send immediately or uh, schedule it whenever you want to, uh, but it's just one email to your subscribers. And with automations, you have the possibility to create entire email sequences. So let's say 10 emails over the course of two weeks that you send out whenever a certain trigger fires. So let's say somebody signs up for your email list or somebody gets assigned a tag. Then you can say, okay, when this happens, then send them this email sequence. So over the course of like two weeks, they will get those 10 emails or whatever you're setting up. Um, and as I've said, automations is a tool that is only available for uh, the paid plan. And um, so you will have to, to upgrade eventually if you want to use that, uh, that tool uh, more than 14 days because they do have a 14 day trial. So click on automations. And then if you click on unlock everything, you see that they have a 14 day trial. But you have to type in your credit card information if you want to use that trial. And after those 14 days, if you don't cancel, they will charge you, um, depending on how many contacts you have, uh, starting to, at $29 per month. So for people that um, might need this automation tool, uh, that's actually for people that want to have more automation. They want to build email sequences. So let's say you are somebody that uh, that's, uh, promotes a paid course and you want to give away a mini course, uh, you can use that automation feature for that. So let's say you you create a YouTube course uh, about how to grow on YouTube, but first you want to give away a seven day mini course to just for free so that people see that you actually know what you're talking about, that your content is helping them. And then at the end of this course, you will promote your paid course for people that want to have more information that want to get an entire course. So what you can do is you can create an automation sequence that uh, you send out to anybody that is interested in that, uh, in that YouTube course. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign up for that 14 day trial so that we actually have uh, access to that automation feature. And then we're going to build such uh, an automation sequence for a mini course. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in my information here. Then I'm going to click start free trial. Okay, so now we're back in our ConvertKit dashboard. And as you see now, the automations tab turned white. So we have now access to the automations feature. So I'm going to click on that. And here you see the different new features. So you have automations, which is your main visual automation builder. And then you have sequences where you're gonna build your automation sequences, maybe like a sequence of five emails that you can then put in your automation. You can also uh, do rules and more RSS and integrations. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna cover sequences and automation, so the basics. Now, before we create our automation, um, our visual automation, we're gonna create a sequence. So what I want to do is, I want to send out over, a, over the course of seven days, I wanna send out a mini course where every day I give away a piece of content showing them how to build a YouTube channel. And then at the end of those seven days, I'm gonna offer them to, to buy my course if they're interested. So I'm gonna create a mini course sequence that is for free, and then I'm gonna create a promotional sequence for my larger course. So those sequences we need to create here. So I'm gonna click on new sequence, name that sequence YouTube mini course for the free one. And here's where I can do that. So that's the same email editor as we've seen before. You can just type in the subject here, maybe like um, welcome day one, um, welcome to my YouTube mini course, and then um, day one. And then you obviously wanna write out that email and give them a link to the first uh, type piece of content. So let's say day one, how to get started. Then I'm gonna make that a link. So that's actually a video probably that I'm gonna send them. Then I'm gonna highlight that and link to maybe a private YouTube video that I've created for my mini course. So type, uh, just paste in the link to your private video here. Then I wanna make it open in a new tab. And I also wanna tag everybody that clicks that link because I wanna filter out everybody that is interested 
in, um, in the content so that I know who I can promote my paid course to. So I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna type in clicked or maybe interested, interested YouTube course. And I'm gonna create a new tag. So I'm gonna click insert. And now I'm gonna create six more emails sending out the, the other types of content. So I'm gonna click on add email. I'm gonna do that a couple of times until I have my seven emails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then obviously you wanna make that um, a bit of uh, with, with more content inside of the email, telling them what, the, what they're gonna learn today. So you can really build out a nice, a nice sequence here. And every day you're gonna, you're gonna give them the link to the second, to the next video. So let's say the second day is something like um, customizing your channel page uh, video. And then always make that a link again and paste the link to your video. And again, I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna tag um, again, interested YouTube course. So I wanna tag everybody that's actually clicking on my links. And you're gonna see why I'm gonna do that later. So do that. And then once I have finished my sequence, I need to activate those emails so they actually work. So I'm gonna need to change the status here from draft to active. I'm gonna need to do that with every email. And then I also need to tell ConvertKit when those emails should be sent out. So right now it says after one day. So whenever the trigger happens, then a day later that email will be sent out. But I, what I wanna do is I wanna send out uh, this email immediately because the way I will do it is by creating a landing page where it says um, free mini course, sign up here. And then the first email should be this one. So I'm gonna change that to zero days and it will be sent out immediately. Okay, so the second email here will be sent out after one day and then the third one after one day. So every day they will get an email for seven days. Okay, so once everything is set up here, I can just click on save all and that is now our mini course YouTube sequence. Now the second sequence I wanna create is um, the promotional sequence. So for everybody that clicks on any of my free content links, I wanna to promote to them my paid course. So I'm gonna click on new sequence, um, paid YouTube, or like something like YouTube Masterclass, whatever your course is called. I actually don't have a course. Uh, masterclass, create sequence. And then the same thing. So. I'm not gonna cover how you, do, should, you should do your marketing here, but you get how you can do it within ConvertKit. You can maybe, again, do like five promotional emails. Um, you can do this uh, after maybe two days. So give them some days after the mini course and then wait maybe three days and then again, two days, whatever you want. You can also just make it so it will be only sent on weekday. So you can just uh, you can just um, untick Saturday, Sunday, and it will be only sent on weekdays. However, you wanna set this up. So let's say this is finished as well. I'm gonna click on saved all. And now we should have our two sequences. We have our YouTube masterclass sequence and our YouTube mini course sequence. Now we're basically ready to create our automation. So we're gonna click on automations here and we're gonna click on new automation. And then I'm gonna click on create automation. And here's where we need to decide what will trigger that automation. So is it when somebody joins a form? Is it when somebody is added a tag? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do joins a form. So let's say the form that I've created for this is the YouTube checklist which isn't really true because uh, that's the landing page that we have created for our lead magnet a YouTube checklist. But let's say that's what we want to, uh, that's our landing page for that YouTube mini course. So I'm gonna add that event and that's our first block in our visual automation. Now, the first thing I wanna do is send out the, the YouTube mini course uh, sequence. So I'm gonna click on the plus here and I'm gonna click on event. No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click on action and then choose the email sequence. So I'm gonna click on YouTube mini course, add action. 
and then that sequence will be sent out immediately after somebody signs up through that landing page. Now what I want to do is I want to um, I want to send the promotional uh, sequence to everybody that clicked on any link on my YouTube mini course. So I'm going to go to the plus, click on condition, and then I'm going to click on tag. And now I'm going to choose that tag interested YouTube course, click on add condition. And now you see this uh, automation goes through this path and this path. So um, everybody that has that tag, I can then decide what happens with them. So what I want to do here, everybody that clicked on any of the links, I'm going to send them my second email sequence, which is the YouTube masterclass. So there I will have five promotional emails promoting to them that course. And um, whatever I can, um, whatever you want to do after that, what you can do is you can do more. Um, you can do more email sequences or just give them a tag that they have um, went through the YouTube masterclass, whatever you want to do. I, what I can do here is maybe send another email sequence about uh, more of my free content or because they're not interested in YouTube, maybe about blogging. So I'm going to send them blogging content. So that's how you can really automate a lot here and make your marketing very passive. So you can just create an email once or create an email sequence once and then um, set up triggers to send the right people the right sequences and kind of market to them and kind of tell your story and kind of um, get them inside of your business on autopilot. So that's the powerful thing here that you can do with, with uh, sequences and automations. So I'm going to leave it at that here. But if at some point you want to build something and you don't know how to actually build it, what I would highly suggest that you just go to the bottom right here, click on this chat icon and then um, ask the support how you can actually do what you want to do with your automations. Because sometimes when you're new using this feature, it's a little bit overwhelming maybe and then the help comes in really handy and they have very good support here. So um, you shouldn't worry about um, not knowing how to do something.